guys, it's me Sophia back with another YouTube video. This time I thought it would be fun to like interact with you guys and do something a little more like, I don't know, fun I guess. And actually ask you guys to ask me some questions. So today we're going to be doing a QA and a and I'm so excited because I haven't done one of these in like forever like literally from when i started youtube so i tweeted you guys and i also posted on my instagram story ask me some questions and now we're going to go through them so if you maybe ask me a question and you want to see if i answered it then watch on or if you just want to get to know me a bit better then also watch on so the first question that i got is from well not the first question but the first question i'm going to read is from our bike boy and um, his question was, what would be a good first date for me? Um, considering the fact Beth still hasn't took me on a date, I don't think dates are a very big thing for me. But I hate cinema for dates. Like I feel like that, like for a first date, cinema is just like so awkward because like you're not really talking and like I don't know. I feel like it's just so weird. And then like they put their hand on your leg and it's like. Mm, no and it's just like ugh. no I just don't like the cinema dinner's fine because like oh my goodness like a first date like you don't even have to like them and you're going to get free dinner like dinner's good but I think I would like to do something like more fun like maybe like trampolining or like ice skating like something like fun so like they, it can be like embarrassing and stuff and you just get to know them I've got another question from Maddie who's uh uh, is at uh, into Cindy um, and it says favorite Instagram models if we're going to talk about Instagram models like I follow a lot of model models that are on Instagram and I love like loads on there my favorite one at the moment though is um what is her name to find out her name because you guys should so follow her because oh my goodness oh Gracie Hodge oh my goodness she is so amazing. This girl here is like my favorite like Instagram model. Like I just love her stuff. She's so gorgeous. Her photos are amazing. She seems to have like such a cool style. Love her. She is my favorite Instagram model, but she is like a normal model, but that's just how I'm going to answer this question because I need like a reason to talk about her. And what are my favorite makeup products right now? My favorite makeup products would be the Chanel foundation that I used in the tutorial that I posted doing this makeup look. Um, I also love the Rimmel like two-in-one like little glitter swipe things. They are unbelievable. And my third one would probably be that Carnival palette. I don't know if that counts. And that was by Jess and her at is at Sincerely or Sincerity Seb or something. Seb. I think that's that Sebastian guy. Um, Daniela, who's at is it Daniela underscore X, asked which celebrity would I like to live as and that is an easy Jeffree Star because oh my goodness like not only does he have a gorgeous boyfriend but like his house is unbelievably gorgeous and my girlfriend's looking at me like Gorgeous boyfriend? Mm -hmm. Even you said he's gorgeous? He is. And you don't like boys? He is, don't I? <laughs> so and we could just they <laughs> That's but, not going Yeah it is <laughs> But um, yeah, Jeffree Star because not only is he like a billionaire, like oh my goodness, imagine like even one day as Jeffree Star, like you could do so much, or even like as like sick as people want to think this sounds, like Jake Paul. Yeah. Like just because his life, like although like had a real insight to it recently, it's not as good as it seems, you know, <laughs> keeping up with it. But it does seem like you could do anything when you're Jake Paul. If I could meet a celebrity, who would he, she be, and why? Um, I don't know. Like, I'd love to meet Cara Delevingne or, like, I don't know, any celebrity. Like, I don't know. Just, I don't know. Uh, Sarah, who's also one of them Sebastian fans, and her name is In Seb's Heart. Um, I have another question set from Moonlight T, or Moonlight underscore T, that asks, what is, what is my celebrity crush? Oh, what's your celebrity crush? Um, Cara Delevingne. Oh my goodness, what do you call that girl? And her... They do that YouTube channel together. Is it Skylar and... Yeah. Not Skylar though. Yeah, they get to Skylar and... Corinne and Skylar. Corinne. Corinne. Yeah, they're, they're, if you guys haven't like checked these like two girls out, they're like in a relationship. So if you're homophobic, don't check them out. But if not, do. And both of them are gorgeous. Like whether you like girly girls or like... Tomboy, tomboy girls, girl boys. 
Is it tomboy? Oh, right. Or like tomboys, like you'll fancy one of them no matter what. I like who? Corinne. Corinne. So she's another celebrity. And which YouTuber would I most like to collab with? Probably either Corinne and Skyler. <laughs> Corinne and Skyler. Probably like them for fun, like a hundred percent, but like for like actually wanting to collab with someone and for it to do well. Like again, like Jeffree Star or like Shane Dawson, because I feel like Shane Dawson could actually go into my life and like, yeah. like everyone would be like, whoa, shocked. <laughs> From Inaya X One X, I think that's how you say your name. Now we're going to go on to Instagram and go through my Instagram DMs. We have one from Summer. This is from Summer, who I actually know really well and love and adore and think she's just amazing. And she asks, one thing that no matter what will always make you happy. And the cheesy answer to this is Beth. But like Beth does not always make me happy, so we're not going to lie. And the other answer would have been food, but food doesn't always make me happy because like, it makes me happy in the moment and then after I'm like... Why did I do that? Um, something that always makes me happy would probably be... i say coffee. Good coffee. Yeah, anytime you've had a cup of coffee, if you're sad it makes you happy, or if you are sad you're like, I need a cup of coffee. Yeah, probably a good cup of coffee. Like a Beth coffee, because your coffee's always great. On to another question. Let's so in conclusion, I just make you happy. Because the only thing that makes you happy is my coffee. See how, see how that all came around in a circle? Yeah. <laughs> I have a question from Laura13, Elena. And she said, can you do more full glam tutorials? I've been watching you for years now. I love you so much and so proud of you. Uh, I don't know if this is a glam tutorial. If I had lashes, it would be. But again, I don't have any. But um, yeah, I can. And I will be. Um, she also asked what my star sign is. And my star sign is a Leo. Um, Alice Emma Alice underscore dot Emma asked, do you regret your old videos and Instagram posts? Or are you glad you got attention slash fame from being quite young, wearing so much makeup? Would you take back anything you've done on social media? Um, I, no. <laughs> I don't know if that's like supposed to be like cheeky or if she's just genuinely asking. But personally, I don't think anything that like on my Instagram from back then was like bad or like was inappropriate. I do, I did wear makeup when I was young, but I was like over, like I was like a teenager. Like I was doing the same things that te like teenagers are doing now, do you know what I mean? And at the end of the day, the only reason I deleted some of my old posts were just because they weren't like me anymore. Like I'm completely different to how I was when I was younger. And I just want like my Instagram to like portray me and then photos just weren't me anymore. So that's why I did delete them, but I don't regret anything. I'm so happy that I did post them videos because I them photos because if it wasn't for them, then like I wouldn't like be here. Well, I probably would be here, but you, you probably, you watching probably wouldn't be here. So I am glad I posted them and I don't regret any of my YouTube videos because if anything, they're probably better than the ones now. But um, yeah, that was the question from Alice. Someone asked how did me and my girlfriend meet and I'm going to leave that out because I think I'm actually going to do a video on it because it's actually such a funny story and I kind of want to tell it. So if you guys would want to see that, let me know. Uh, I have another question. <laughs> how do you feel about Lauren and Harvey recently breaking up and has she reached out to you since the whole drama in January? First of all, didn't even know they had broken up. Second of all, don't really care. <laughs> Third of all, no she hasn't because like, why would she? Like, tss. From a boy called Ethan7561. Someone saying, how do you, or do you struggle keeping up with eating healthy and going to the gym or are you naturally quite, 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 quite slim? Uh, yeah, I struggle so hard. I hate eating healthy. I hate going to the gym. I'm so lazy. I just want to lie in bed all day. I used to be like naturally slim when I was younger, but I feel like that was just like, you know why people have like puppy fat when they're young and some people are just so that. skinny, yeah. but like people grow out of their puppy fat and people like start to like put weight on yeah, as they, they get older. Really yeah. Nice. Like when I was younger, I used to dance a lot. So I was like super thin, like, and I could eat crap. But now that I'm less like, Active, active and not as young it's harder for me to like stay slim so like I wouldn't say I am naturally slim because if I didn't go to the gym and if I didn't eat well like I wouldn't be like 
skinny, like I wouldn't. So that was uh, a question from underscore Emily X Moore. Uh, there's more people asking me, can I post more makeup? Yes, I will. Um, someone asked me when I first got into modeling. I think I did a video on that a while ago, but I got into modeling kind of through dance and because people told me I was tall. Hi, a morning person or a night owl. That was from HTTPS dot Madison with an X. Um, I am definitely a night person. I hate morning. I hate getting woken up and I don't like sleeping at night, so... Yeah. That's the tea. What did your ex-boyfriend think of you coming out or are you Oh, let, let, let's not talk about that. I'm not going to be cheeky. What did your ex-boyfriend think of you coming out and are you bi and he knew that? I am bi but he didn't know that. We had a conversation about it before and he was like against it. So I like said that I wasn't while I was with him. But then when obviously I had a girlfriend, like he wasn't very happy and he thought that it wasn't right but that is his own opinion and I respect his own opinion and we are civil kind of so we're not going to be cheeky so don't take this the wrong way if you're watching <laughs> um that was from Brun why do you even say that Bruna McKeown uh, Bradley Turkington said why did you become a lesbian hmm. why do I know like why do I feel like I know who that is I don't know him, he's 15. Who is he? He went to drum code. He's probably friends with like... What you call her? Jerry. Paige or something, aren't um, Why did I turn into a lesbian? Hmm, I don't think you really turn into him. Like, why him. did you turn into a straight person? Do you know what I mean? Well, logically, you're not a lesbian. Yeah, logically I'm not a lesbian, but I turned into a... A bisexual man. woman because I like girls as well as boys and I just appreciate everyone and think if I love someone then it doesn't matter what they are or who they are or uh. <laughs> that was my girlfriend burping so as you can see much love much love <laughs> when I was sad lol I or lola or underscore asked um when did I get in the makeup? And I got in the makeup really young because um I danced and when I danced like I think you started wearing makeup in like under ten or no under ten I think. So eight and above. But then I think it changed once I got past that to like under fourteen is when you start wearing makeup. Or under twelve. I think, I don't know, but I started wearing makeup really young because of dance and you had to wear like makeup like when you dance because it was like part of like the whole performance thing. I never liked it at the start though because I'm just like not a makeup person, like I just hated it and I was like always a tomboy and I feel like I still kind of am, like as much as I like makeup and stuff I, I'm not really into that whole like getting your nails done, getting your eyelashes done. So I feel like I only started getting into makeup when I probably reached like high school or like a bit after that. So guys, if you like this question and answer, then let me know down below. If you'd like me to do another question and answer, then also let me know that. And if you want like a topic question and answer, like question and answer about like certain things, like about being a model or about my girlfriend or about whatever, then also let me know because I enjoy doing these and like it's kind of fun to like know what you guys want to know. Like what are your questions, do you know what I mean? We bit like ooh, but um yeah. If you liked it, then remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see whenever I post new videos, click the bell beside my name so you get notifications every time I post. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again. Bye.